study of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Now we are going to see part 4, which is about the death of Jesus Christ. The death of Jesus Christ. Philippians 2.8 And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. So we know how Jesus died. Many refuse to believe that, but Jesus died on the cross. The death of Jesus Christ is mentioned more than 120 times in the New Testament and is spoken of many times by the prophet in the Old Testament. One, the death of Jesus Christ was vicarious. You see, 100 times in the New Testament and is spoken of many times by the prophets in the Old Testament. One, the death of Jesus Christ was vicarious. What does it mean? 2028 even as the son of man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many see he very clearly says the humble Jesus Christ the son of man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. This is the very purpose for which Jesus Christ came into this world. One of the many purposes. So he was God's substitute for sinners. As in 2 Corinthians chapter 5.21 we can see that 5.21 For our sake he made himself to be sin who knew no sin, so that in Jesus we might become the righteousness of God. How great it is. So as many as those who have received Jesus Christ into their life, they are righteous in the presence of God and having a definite right standing in the presence of God. Rest assured. So your salvation is secure only in the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. On the cross Christ was made sin for sinners. By faith in him the sinner is made righteous with the righteousness of God. Point number two, the death of Jesus Christ was natural. That is to say, by natural death we meant that Jesus, his spirit and soul were separated from his body. Let me read out. John chapter 19, 31, 37 Since it was the day of the preparation and so that the bodies would not remain on the cross on the Sabbath for that Sabbath was a high day the Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away so the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and the other who had been crucified with Jesus but when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his leg. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with the spear, and at once there came out blood and water. He who saw it has borne witness. His testimony is true, and he knows that he is telling the truth. That you also may believe. That is John the Apostle. For these things took place that the scripture might be fulfilled. Not one of his bones will be broken. And again another scripture says they will look on him whom they have pierced. See all the prophets have told is fulfilled in Jesus Christ. So the death of Christ was natural third thing is the death of Jesus Christ was unnatural you can see Romans 6 23 for the wages of sin is death but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord here say the wages of sin is death 
So be, he doesn't have sin. So then how he will die? He has to become sin for you and me in order to taste death and to die. By an unnatural death we mean that since he was sinless in that he did no sin. That's what Peter, 1 Peter 2.22 says, He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in Jesus' mouth. Had no sin, that's what 1 John chapter 3 says, You know that Jesus appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. That's the scripture says. Knew no sin, that is Corinthian, that is three apostles, apostle to the Gentile, and John the Apostle and Peter the Apostle, they bear witness to it and they have written in their epistles. Now 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, He knew no sin. For our sake he made him to be sin, made Jesus to be sin, who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. This is the answer for our salvation, for our righteousness. Before he could die, he had to be made sin for us. Therefore, his death was unnatural. Unlike us, we naturally die because we all are sinners. We all are helpless. We all are enemies of God. But he is God in flesh. So it is an unnatural death. He has to become sin in order to taste death on your behalf. That's why it happened. That is why it is unnatural. The death of Jesus Christ was preternatural. By this we mean that the death of Jesus Christ was not an afterthought with God. It was the forethought of God. You see Revelation 13, 8, when all who dwell on earth will worship it, that is, in the days to come, they will worship, give themselves to the Antichrist and the devil, a kind of worship. Everyone whose name has not been written before the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb which was slain. The Lamb was Jesus Christ which was slain between heaven and earth. This is the brief work Jesus Christ did on your behalf and on my behalf. So this was even before the foundation of the world God has planned. So that is why it is preternatural. God knows what he does from the beginning. So we should, because he is omniscient. He knows the end from the beginning. So what God planned was the land even before he created, put the foundation to the world. He knows what the devil would do. So he planned the salvation in his son who is the lamb. And he has a book. Is your name written therein? Then you are safe. Otherwise now is the time to receive Christ into your life. Then fifth thing is the death of Jesus was, Jesus Christ was supernatural. John chapter 10, 17 and 18. For this reason the Father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my Father. You see, he has the right to lay it down and to take it up. And that is why he said he himself is the life. So he cannot die, but he tasted death on your behalf by, by becoming sin for you and me. He himself is the life. So the death of Jesus Christ was supernatural. Okay, Jesus said, no man taketh, no man taketh life from me. Then he said, I lay it down to myself supernaturally. I have power to take it up again, supernaturally. This he did on the cross. And three days and three nights later, he took life up again when he arose from the dead. Only God in the form of man could die a vicarious death. Only God in the form of man could die and 
natural death and Jesus Christ died an unnatural death and his death was preternatural and also the death of Jesus Christ was supernatural this is talking about the death of Jesus Christ so we need to understand that that because the death of Jesus Christ some of the religion says Jesus did not die on the cross and Jesus death and resurrection is the very foundation for the salvation of any single soul some of the religion they deny this and this is the fact established because bible is the only word of god under the heaven and above the earth that is the only constitution given for us to be saved and be safely in heaven to reach the father in heaven stablished in the name of jesus christ believe, believe he died for you believe he rose again to see that you reach heaven and have assurance in jesus christ amen